You see that piece of bark that right there? Bit of a cinnamon smell and a brown color. So that's a sassafras. Then that makes this a sassafras here. See the deep furrows? And I'm guessing that is not a sassafras. I think that would make this here a sassafras. Yeah, I see. See the brown bark? And I know because I'm also in sassafras leaf territory. And we think this here. is a sassafras. Notice how it's green. Oh, that smells like cinnamon. See this little bud. And it should also taste like cinnamon. Kind of a minty flavor, actually. I'm gonna have to look that up. That might not be to you. Sassafras. So I have some sassafras here that I found on the ground. You can tell it's sassafras, because when you break it, it smells like root beer. So I'm gonna try to make, boil some water and put some of this in there and see if I can make some tea. I know the special ingredient in sassafras is saffriol oil. But we're not going to get a lot of it from this little bit of Triggs, from my understanding on the internet. And I know that sassafras oil is one of the ingredients in ecstasy, which might be one of the reasons why the substance is banned. In the 60s, they said that about 5 grams of this would cause uh, was a carcinogen. We're going to make well less than 200 micrograms. We'll let that boil and give it a try. After several minutes there, it's getting a little bit of a orangish tinge to it. And there's the color after a little longer. So we're going to try out some of this uh, sassafras tea here. This is very low dose. I know at a, a high dose you can get a narcotic effect, which is probably why it's banned by the FDA. So they do also know it as a carcinogen at five milligrams, five grams, as I said. Good. It has a nice minty uh, root beer type flavor. Very smooth. It's kind of soothing with the aromaticness of it. See, I can easily see why this was sold as a, a, a health tonic back in the day. Apparently this used to be, especially with the natives, when they would uh, boil the maple syrup, they'd also, in the spring, boil up some sassafras, mix it with the maple syrup, and make a super great tasting drink. And I kind of just want to say I'm going to try this just once. This is it. I'm not going to try this again. Uh, like I said, it is, have a, a, it is believed to be a carcinogenic by the FDA. And I don't recommend trying this at home, but you do you. I don't know what it is, guys, but after drinking that sassafras tea, I just want to dance and listen to techno. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more nature with Pray for Nathan. Sassafras trees produce the chemical saffron oil, which is an antifeedant, meaning it prevents creatures from eating it. Sassafras trees have the aroma of a sweet shop slash root beer flavor. It's actually used as an insecticide, kind of like how nicotine is an antifeedant and can be used as an insecticide. Saffron oil is the key ingredient in MDMA, which is ecstasy, or molly. First, sassafras oil is distilled to produce pure saffron oil like I do in this video. Then a series of other ingredients are then added to the refined oil. Distillation is then used to react the content to produce pure MPDP2P, 
which is MDMA oil. Once used for many purposes, from cooking to medical, this endangered tree is being exploited for the small amount of sassafras oil produced through the bark or root of the tree. Legal sassafras oil production has stopped due to health risks that it poses. The oil has shown to cause cancer in laboratory animals, causing the FDA to ban all sales of sassafras, tea, root, and oil. Still, that is not the only reason why the FDA was so eager to ban the use of sassafras oil. Five million sassafras trees have been decimated in the last 10 years for this oil. The best solution for the destruction of sassafras tree is for the synthetic version of saffron to be created. The hope is that the synthetic development will be sustainable and environmentally friendly. Currently, numerous companies are working on a solution, working hard to stop this increasing issue. That is just ridiculous. We can't keep destroying sassafras for MDMA. I know there's talks that MDMA could also be uh, used to treat depression and post-traumatic stress disorder, but I hope that stops instantly because terrorizing this tree for a black market product, it's just not cool. Please join me and help me in saving the sassafras tree by stop taking MDMA, maybe take some other illicit drugs or alcohol to enjoy life, or just don't at all. <laughs> Live a sober life and find happiness in other things such as seeing a sassafras tree, smelling its sweet aroma, not in cutting it down to make a long night of a dancing and enjoyment.